everyone blessed midweek let's pray father lord we thank you for this time we lift this time to your hands god we pray that you will help me with this sharing you know let this sharing touch many hearts god we also want to thank you for all that you have done for us we thank you for the upcoming long weekend whereby we can get a good break and we thank you for all the love that you have shown to us in jesus name amen I would like to share the following with you today. Do you remember what you were yearning for at the age of eight? Was it less homework, housework, or any type of work? Was it toys, presents, or lots of nice food, or going out with your family? At the tender age of eight, a young girl was dreaming of a Merry Christmas with her family and hoping to spend Christmas together. Christmas generally didn't matter much usually, but somehow that year, she just didn't want to have to had to go to the hospital to visit her father who loved her dearly. She dreaded the trips to the hospital. The smell of the place really turned her away. She dreaded having to sit and wait and watch the rest of the world go by. She dreaded what she was seeing in the hospital. Death was something that was nearing, but somehow she did not understand. She only blurted out to her family that she doesn't want to go to the hospital anymore and she wished that her father could go home. And so he did. But little did she know, the reason for him being released to go home was not because the doctors and nurses and treatment has all been done. It was because the doctors and nurses and treatment all could do no more for him. So dragging his tired and tortured body, the father went home to recuperate. Or in other words, wait for death. The little girl was very happy, not because the father was home, but to her, it meant that she doesn't have to go to the hospital anymore. And to her, she felt that it was a Merry Christmas because we were all together. So sometimes she wonder. Would things have changed if he stayed on in the hospital for treatment for longer, for a time where the doctors could maybe do more? And that year, her father was just 42, prime of his life. But he gave his little girl her imagined Merry Christmas. So what kind of sacrifice has our worldly father done for us? A little, a lot, or none? I guess it differs from person to person. We all have different experiences. However, what we should know for sure is what more has our Heavenly Father done or sacrificed for us? He gave His only begotten Son, His only precious Son. So is that a lot to you? That means the world to me, actually. It is my everything. So reading just Genesis 1 to 2, where God created the heavens and earth, you know, and even created men, I will, I will wonder you know, why God has done his creation. And I also think, if there was no love within God, would his creation be so beautiful, so wonderful, so marvelous? The people that we are spending time with, the family that we have, this world that we live in. So here, I leave with you my favourite Bible verse. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Which is John 3.16. May God bless you and may you hold His love close to your heart. Bye-bye.